the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nome is back. And in this video, I'm going to awaken all Blast Fruits with a level 700 account. But before I start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel and this will really help us make better videos. Are you ready to awaken 12 fruits? And we'll be needing 172,800 fragments to fully awaken all fruits. We're gonna use this account, Elemental Yarn. Okay, so let's start first off the Flame Fruit. So we have 5 skills. First is the Fire Bullets. Next up, the Burning Blast. Nice for the damage, not bad. Here's the Burning Blast. Next up, the Fire Column. C skill. There you go, and last but not the least, the Flame Destroyer. For this fruit, we have Death Skill. Okay, we have the Fire Flight. I'm gonna show it to you. Here it is. Okay. So now, guys, the Awakened uh, version of this fruit. You need 4,500 fragments, and we're gonna awaken 5 skills. Again, you need 4,500. For the F Skill, the Rocket Flight. As you can see, it looks faster now. Actually, it is really faster, but it cannot damage the enemy. Z skill guys, blue fire bullets. This one's new. I didn't know that they changed this. There you go guys. Damage 2432. Next one, prominence burn. Still the same. Z skill flaming vortex. There you go. Okay. And V skill the hell core. Graphics looks better. And there is additional damage. So for our next fruit, the ice fruit. So I chose this fruit. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> So this fruit has M1, not like the flame fruit, Z skill, Ice Fierce, but this fruit doesn't have F skill. When not awakened, that is Ice Surge, we missed it, don't worry, we're gonna use it again later. Next up, Ice Bird, there you go, there's a stun effect, and Glacial Epoch. There you go, oops, we almost died there, again one more Ice Surge. There you go, okay guys, so after this, we're gonna defeat this one first, okay. Now again, you need 4,500 fragments to awaken all the skills. Plus, there is a new skill, the F skill. So let's awaken this and I'm gonna showcase it and show it to you. So for the F skill guys, we have the ice scaling. This one's really good, really fast. You won't be flying, but guys, check that out. <laughs> it's really cool. Yes, energy is reduced when you're gonna use this F skill in the water, okay? So for the Z skill, Cold Storm guys, I don't know if this was also changed. There you go. Axis skill, Glacial Surge, almost the same as the previous one, the Ice Surge. Next one is Frozen Dragon. Now, it's not a bird, it's a dragon now. There you go. And last but not least, Absolute Zero. Again, guys, I've, Ice Skating doesn't have damage. I'm going to show it to you. There you go, no damage. Okay. So, guys, time to move on. For our next fruit, we got the Light Fruit. Okay, there you go. So, let's eat this fruit and start showcasing it guys if you're gonna ask me this is the fastest fruit to grind in the first C first C only okay so this one also has M1 light flight guys you cannot control the direction once you push the F skill first skill light ray there you go next up barrage of light guys I really don't like this fruit moving on reflection kick my favorite skill of this unawakened light fruit there you go it looks good and the V-Skill Light Beam Barrage. There you go. Okay. Well, let's defeat this one first. There we go. So, in order to awaken all the skills, you need 4,500 fragments. There you go. Okay, so first up, F-Skill. Now, Shining Flight. As you can see, I can control the direction and this one's faster. One of the best F-Skills. Next up, Divine Arrow Z-Skill. You can charge it up. For more damage. See that? 2600. Next up, Hand of Emperor. Guys, this one's really good. The damage is really high. Easy to damage one enemy. Light Speed Destroyer. There you go. And Wrath of God. There you go. Okay, guys. So moving on. Next fruit. We got the Dark Fruit. Okay, so let's eat this one up. There you go. Okay, let's showcase it. Z skill, Dark Rocks. There you go. Next up, Black Spiral. This one's really cool. This is skill. There you go. And we got the Black Hole. Oh, 
Oh, we missed the full damage. Don't worry, we're gonna do it again later. And the Dark Bomb. Okay, so one more Black Hole. And then we're gonna showcase the Awakened version of this fruit. There you go. Boom. 2,000 damage. 2,258. So again, 4,500 is the required fragments to unlock all the skills. First skill is Dimensional Slash. Really cool skill. Next one is the Abyssal Darkness. So this skill is good for combos. This one will pull your enemy towards you. There you go. Next up, Endless Hole. There you go. And last but not the least, the World of Darkness. Guys, okay, did you see that? That's the F skill, the Ghastly Step. This skill is like uh, a sword, okay? Okay. Next up is the Magma Fruit, my one of my favorite fruits when awakened. Why gamer now? Because of the damage. And you're gonna see it now. But first, an awakened form, Magma Clap. There you go, 1 6 damage. Next up, Magma Eruption. There you go. Next up, Magma Fist. There you go. V skill, Magma Meteors. There you go. And the Magma Floor. Guys, this one's really slow, but you can damage your enemies with this F skill. There you go. Really cool. And when you're fighting uh, enemies that doesn't have hockey, you can defeat them easily, right? Once log is in effect. Okay, so awakening this fruit will cost you 14,500 fragments too. Guys, check this out. F skill. Beast ride. You're flying, right? And also, you can damage the mob that you're about to hit with your F skill. There you go. Check that damage, guys. 1,700. Not bad, right? But that damage is nothing to the first skill, the Magma Shower. There you go, guys. You can defeat or oof uh, mobs with this Z skill. Next up, Volcanic Assault. One damage. I mean, one target damage. Great Magma Hound. There you go, guys. And Volcanic Storm. One of the skills that has high damage output. There you go. Boom. Okay, guys. Next fruit on the list is the Buddha Fruit. So this one's rare, right? Okay, so let's eat this one and we're gonna compare the skills. So Dana Waken has transform. First skill is the X skill. Impact that has damage, okay? First skill is transform. X skill impact. Buddha Lip, this one's really cool. There you go. <laughs> and last but not least, the Buddha Explosion. So as you can see, it only has three skills to damage the enemy. But don't worry, once awakened, you can you will be having more skills. Okay, 4,500 is required. Awaken all the skills. As you can see, we have five skills now. Four skills for damage. So first up, Heavenly Impact. Let's check it out. There you go. Next up, Light of Annihilation. Guys, you can damage your enemy when you also jump, okay? Light of Annihilation, long range. Boom. Next up is the Twilight of the Gods. So I'm going to show it to you guys. This one's really cool. There you go, guys. <laughs> Okay, next up, Retribution Dash, F skill. So this can also serve as a dash, but when you catch your enemy, it's game over. <laughs> okay, next up, guys, we got the Quake Fruit. So let's eat this fruit up. Okay, let's showcase it. First skill, Quake Punch. There you go. Next up is a Quake Wave, X skill. Next up, Quake Erupt. So guys, actually, it's kind of lame, to be honest, at, at first. Okay, don't worry. Wait for the Awakened Form and the Dual Tsunami. Wait, okay, it's still chasing us. There you go. Wait for the Tsunami. There it is. Okay, there you go. Double damage, 5,000 and it's dead. Okay, you need 17,000 fragments to awaken just four skills. Guys, that's a lot, right? <laughs> okay, so let's show this. Is. Fatal Demolisher, guys. Check that out. Enemy broken. Next up, Air Crasher. X skill. Boom. Actually, yeah. Big improvement. Next up, Spatial Shockwave. There you go. And final skill, Sea Quake. So guys, uh, check this out. The, the enemy will only be damaged once. I don't know why. Oh, that's an initial damage, right? Check it out. There are four waves now. There you go. Coming from all directions. Check it out. 1-5 is the damage. Only once. Guys, can you correct this one or it's just a glitch? Again, I will do it again. V skill, right? So, there you go. We have two enemies, okay? Two enemies. Damage is 1-5 for every hit. There you go, guys. Just 3,000. See that? 
So hopefully this gets fixed. Okay, so next fruit is the spider fruit. Okay, this just got a new rework. A rework. So for the Z skill, we get Spider Wrath. There you go. Next up, Multi String Attack X skill. Next up is the Long Range Attack, the Overheated Sniper. Wait, it is chasing us. Okay. Time to attack back. There you go. Next up is the Ultimate Thread. Okay. One more time with the Ultimate Thread. There you go. Next up is the Spider Path. So guys, this is the Awakened Death skill of the previous uh, String Fruit. But now it's changed. Guys, notice there is no damage. Also, you need 17,300 fragments to awaken all the skills. It's getting expensive, right? So there go, 5 skills. Okay. So first up is the Thermal Laceration Z skill. Next up, Silk Prison. Check that out. Skill looks really good. Next up is the Homing. <laughs> Eternal White. Guys, this feels really good. There you go. Next up is Heavenly Punishment. Guys, if we're talking about damage, this one acts a punch. Check the damage out. There you go, guys. Whew. 5,000 damage. Not bad, right? Let's defeat this one, and I'm going to show you one of the most, uh, what do you call this? There you go, the F skill. Popular skill so far, the F skill. Check that out, Spider-Man. There you go, Spider-Man. Okay, so that's it. For the spider fruit, moving on. Next up, we got the sand fruit. Guys, this uh, raid is one of the hardest raids if you're gonna solo it. Aim with Buddha and uh, string or spider fruit. Okay? Z skill, desert sword. X skill, desert funeral. There you go. Next up is sand tornado. Guys, the damage is not that high. There you go. And for the V skill, heavy sand. Dodge. This okay, one more time. There you go. For the F skill, we get the sand flight, guys. As you can see, this one's really slow. <laughs> they should kind of increase the speed, right? Okay, moving on. You need 14,500 fragments to awaken all the skills. There you go. Okay, so guys, check this out new skills. Z uh, for the F skill, tornado flight. I don't know if there is an improvement with the speed. <laughs> And also no damage, so not that good. Next up is a desert blade. Now it looks better. Next up is a sand coffin. There you go. C skill, we got the sandstorm. Okay. For the V skill, we get the deep sand. To be honest, hmm, this awakening is not that good. <laughs> Just my personal opinion, okay? Okay, moving on. Next up. We got the Phoenix Fruit. So guys, this one's kind of hard. There you go. Oh, same again, same account, just showing it. Elemental Yarn. So Z skill, Cannon. Next up is Regeneration Flames. Guys, this one cannot damage the enemy yet when not awakened. Next up is the Fast Kick. Guys, did you see that? No damage on the enemy part, okay? Fast Kick, there you go. And Hybrid Flight. Guys, this one cannot also damage the enemy, but once awakened, it can damage the enemy. Okay, full transformation. Now I'm gonna show you the new cannon. There you go. Longer range. So, again, regeneration flames even when transformed. No damage. That's the fast kick. And that's it, guys. You need 18,500 fragments to awaken all the skills. Plus, tap. Okay, tap can damage the enemy. So, let's go. Okay, Z skill, cremation cannon. There it is. Check that out. Next up, blue flames. Now this can damage the enemy and can heal you. Okay, but check the energy. <laughs> okay, so hybrid, I uh, swift flight. Sorry, there you go. It can damage the enemy. See that? Okay, and the fast kick. Oh, that's the top. Sorry, by the way. Top. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. But there is damage. Blazing Plumage has damage. Guys, the transformation has damage. There is the Cremation Cannon. Again, Blue Flames. And Flame Exodus. Guys, the Flame Exodus C skill. Check that out, guys. Really looks good. Go and the Swift Flight. Once you hit the enemy using the F skill, there you go, you can damage it. Not bad, right? Moving on, guys. One of the best awakening fruits or awakened fruits in the game the Doe Fruit. Here it is. Okay, so let's showcase the unawakened form first. Fried dough, Z skill, 
Next up is the sticky dough. So like a cob cowboy. Next up, carved dough. See skill. Okay, there you go. V skill the restless dough barrage. So again, guys, uh, you don't need the instinct to like become logia fruit. Roller donut. This one cannot damage the enemy. Okay, so time to awaken it, guys. You need a total of eighteen thousand five hundred fragments to awaken all the skills. Plus tap. And to showcase, let's go, guys. Left click. See that, guys? Hold the left click and release. Also, your dough fruit will follow the color of your hacky. So as you can see, hacky is not activated yet. But once activated. Will change the color of the dough. This is the Z skill missile jab. Next up, pastry river. Guys, there are two forms. That one is when you're stepping in the ground, and this one is when you're airborne. Okay, two types of X skill. Next up is the piercing clothesline. Check that out, guys. This is some conquerors hockey like effect. Next up is the F skill scorching donut. Guys, you can use this uh, in the water, in the sea. Okay, it also has damage. And for the V-Skill, Dough Fist Fusillade. Whoa. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Eight. Okay, so next stop. Or the final fruit, guys. We got the Rumble Fruit. Guys, can you imagine it? A level 723 account. Has all the fruits awakened. There you go. Let's showcase the skills. First stop is the Rumble Dragon. Z-Skill, that's it. Next up is the Sky Thunder. Go. Next up is the Sky Beam. Oh, by the way, guys, I did not include the Pole V2 here. Okay. Okay. So that's the F skill, the Lightning Dash. This is the Thunder Bomb. Again, guys, uh, you need fourteen thousand five hundred for this fruit, but with the Pole, you need of uh, what do you call this? Nineteen thousand five hundred for the total, guys. I included the Pole V2 there. Okay. So for the first skill, Lightning Beast. There you go, one more time. Okay, that's the Beast. Next up, Thunderstorm. Now this X skill is a lot better compared to the previous X skill. Dana Awaken 1. And for the F skill, guys. Oh no, sorry. C skill first, Sky Judgment. This one really looks powerful. <laughs> go. And for the F skill, Electric Flash. You can damage your enemy. You have 3 charges. There you go. 287 damage. That's it. And final skill, V skill, Thunderbolt Destruction. Guys, check that out. Again, guys, before I end this video, I did not use any permanent fruit. I really had a hard time getting the dough fruit. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, Gamer Nom is back. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out. Also, thanks to Roblox. Appreciate it.